Hello, my name is uh, Alban Omeli. I'm uh, delighted to welcome you uh, today to the Cardiovascular Research on Life interview, today with uh, Dr. Rodolf Fischmeister. So uh, Dr. Fischmeister is a French cardiac electrophysiologist at Châtenay Malabry in France. Is a director of research of exceptional class at the French Institute of Health called INSERM. Uh, so welcome uh, Dr. Fischmeister. And thank you very much for agreeing to share uh, your thought with us today. So we're gonna start with the first question. Um, what would you consider to be the key milestone uh, discovery in your scientific career and why was it so important? Well, first of all, thanks for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be with you. Um, yeah, the question is um, kind of uh, difficult to answer. Um, especially after a relatively long career. Um, but I've been uh, interested all my life in the fight or fly response uh, and how the heart is uh, responding to the sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, uh, stimulation. And uh, I guess um, one of the major uh, discovery was uh, the finding of the antagonism of the cyclic nucleotide, cyclic AMP and cyclic GMP on the regulation of cardiac function. And as you mentioned, I am an electrophysiologist, so I've been interested in the regulation of calcium channels. And this was uh, back uh, 30, um, over 30 years ago, when uh, uh, doing patch clamp experiments in frog cells, uh, perfusing the cell with a patch pipette with cyclic AMP, loading the cell with cyclic AMP, when you do a patch clamp experiment on a cardiac cell, it's like if you have an Eiffel Tower full of psychic AMP perfusing your body through the belly button. So it's hard to imagine that the psychic AMP concentration can be reduced when you um, diffuse so much psychic AMP in the cell. But adding a little bit of psychic GMP to this uh, affected strongly the regulation of the calcium channels. So there was something dynamic in the cell which was very efficient in uh, hydrolyzing cyclic AMP uh, close to the channel. And this was really the beginning of, of the story about phosphodiesterases. From the bright research you have performed on cardiac nucleotide uh, phosphodiesterases, uh, which of the enzymes is most important to be targeted in heart failure? And how can we uh, therapeutically modulate uh, uh, the enzymes to treat cardiac diseases? So this is um, actually a very broad question uh, to which we don't have yet definite answers. As you know, probably there are several uh, PDEs, phosphodiesterases in cardiac cells, several genes, different isoforms, different uh, splice variants. So it's a big family of enzymes which regulate psychic AMP and also psychic GMP. PDE3 is probably the most uh, known uh, PDE in cardiac cells. It's strongly expressed in mammalian hearts and in human in particular. It's a target for drugs that have been developed as uh, positive inotropes, such as mirinone, amrinone, enoximone, uh, etc. Um, and um, we know today that PD inhibitors can be good to treat uh, uh, cardiac situations um, uh, in acute uh, conditions, but not uh, in a chronic condition. And actually, it's like 50 years ago when people were using beta agonists, beta adrenergic agonists to, to cure uh, for heart failure. It actually is, is not good. And we know today that um, it kills people and it's better to use beta antagonists. And so PD inhibitors was the same. It was, there was a logic in using PD inhibitors to elevate psychic AMP and to increase cardiac function, but actually it kills patients on the long term. So our strategy is to target PDEs in the opposite ways is to actually try to activate phosphodiesterase. And uh, the question you ask is actually which phosphodiesterase is better to, to activate and how? There are two, two PDEs that we are working on right now. It's PDE2 and PDE4. PDE2 is a phosphodiesterase which hydrolyzes psychic AMP and psychic GMP actually in a high um, concentration. Um, the affinity for psychic AMP is around five to 10 micromolar. So this PDE is interesting because we, 
you can activate it uh, quite strongly. It has a um, allosteric domain which uh, binds cyclic GMP, and when cyclic GMP binds to the domain, the catalytic activity of the enzyme is strongly increased. But it's only going to hydrolyze cyclic AMP when cyclic AMP reaches a level which is uh, pretty high. And so activating this PDE may be a, a mechanism to protect the heart of, of um, overflow of cyclic AMP in cardiac cells. The other PDE we're working is a different PDE which, activates, which uh, works in a much lower concentration of cyclic AMP. It's PDE4. And PDE4 is... Uh, uh, decrease in heart failure, in hypertrophy and heart failure. So we, we think that activating this PD4 would be able to, um, to uh, relocate uh, psychic MP at the, at the right compartment because everything that PDEs are doing is basically controlling psychic MP in different places in the cell. And this is really uh, what was uh, the goal of our work is to understand this uh, strong compartmentation. So finally, uh, if you could give uh, one piece of advice uh, to young science, scientists starting out, what would it be? One piece of advice for new researchers? Well, it's hard to, to, to answer to this. I think you need to, to um, in order to do research, you need to bring uh, many, many qualities, I think. And... Uh, many uh, sides of your character which will make you strong in the adversity. Um, first of all, research is a quest. And uh, in order to enter this, you need to be passionate. You need to have passion. passion. You need to be um, curious. Curiosity is very important. And you need uh, also to be humble because uh, humility is, is, is very uh, important and necessary in this, in this quest because uh, one day you are excited by uh, the experiment you've done and the result you've obtained and the next day uh, everything uh, falls down and you wonder uh, how come you cannot repeat and uh, you see somebody else publishing something which goes completely to the opposite way. So humility is important. And you need also to uh, be um, challenging, challenging ideas ideas that are in papers, that are in the publication, even ideas of your boss, of your mentor. And um, my best students, I'm always happy when they come to me and say, you know, the idea you gave me, I'm not so sure it's that good. Well, then that means you thought of it. You, you have your own uh, advice, your own uh, point of view, and uh, being critical, I think, in research is really very, very important. And also look, around don't stay only at your at your subject but look what other people are doing in other fields because i think today uh, only interdisciplinary research can really move the, the frontiers uh, further thank you very much uh, dr fishmeister and uh, thank you to our viewers thank you very much <laughs>